What is up YouTube? It's your boy Icy Mike bringing you another video and in today's video we are going to give you a tutorial or a guide on trading and creating trade routes in Anno 1800. So before we get into the actual tutorial I do want to ask that anyone watching this video that is interested in more Anno 1800 content or reviews on upcoming releases to go ahead and subscribe to the channel that way you can stay up to date on whenever our content releases and it just helps support the channel now let's go ahead and dive straight into the tutorial for how to trade in anno 1800 now the reason why i selected trading as the topic of this tutorial is because in anno 1800 trading is so important and critical to your empire's success and growth in order to be successful you need to become a master of trade in this game. Trading in Anno 1800 can be as simple or as complicated as you can make it. Simply, all you need is point A and point B, both of which would have to have one of these small trading posts in it. So any island that's occupied will have one of these, but you will also need trading rights if it's occupied by another player other than yourself, obviously. But you can also have very complicated trade routes within Anno 1800. Uh, there's not really a max, so you could go to pretty much any island in one single trading route, and then all the way back to yours. It gets a little complicated, but that is available to you. So how do we actually trade? Well, first you need to get to the trading screen. This can be found by going to the bottom left of your screen. Underneath the mini map, you'll see a button. When you hover over it, it says routes. You click that and you're brought to this fancy navigation menu on the right side you can see an over the top point of view of the entire session that you're currently in or region and you can see every island there and who occupies that particular island so if you hover over uh, the icon on that island you can actually see the name of the person that owns that island and whether you have trade rights with them in this instance you can see a red x next to no trade rights which means i don't have trading rights with them so i would not be able to trade with them obviously but then if you look at this person in the bottom, there's a green check mark, and this means I can trade with them. And this is accomplished by increasing your relationship with certain characters or players. And this can be done through quests in the diplomacy tab. But I don't want to cover that in this tutorial. So back to the trading. If you do have trading rights with someone, underneath that you can see their requests. In this particular instance, you can see soap with 15 and beer with five. So this is the item and the amount that this particular AI is requesting to for you to send to them and they will trade you in return what they have. And I'll go into that a little bit more, but first I want to discuss charter routes because they are a little bit different. A charter route is something that you can do between two islands, but they have to be occupied by yourself. They can't be occupied by anyone else. But the benefit to the charter routes is they don't use up any ships at all. The only thing that they do use up is currency. So in this example, I set up a charter route, but let us let me go ahead and delete it. And so if here are my two islands right here. So this island is my, my old island, and this one is my new one that I'm starting to settle. So this one has a lot of the basic stuff, and then this one doesn't have anything. So I need to get a, some items from here to there to there. So what I want to do is I want to hit create route and then I'm going to click charter route. So then I need to go ahead and figure out what good I want to send over. Let's go ahead and send over some lumber so we can start building some houses. So I'm going to select my older island first because that's the select pickup harbor destination or select the pickup harbor. And then now we need to select the destination harbor or where these goods are going to be dropped off, which is our new island up here. And then now we just need to set the amount and the amount doesn't change the cost at all. So let's say we're going to send 10 per trip. So once everything is set, it's going to take it from this island to that one and then that's it. There's not a return trip or anything. It'll just come back, pick up and it'll just it's basically a one way trip. So we charter that and it's set. It's done. Easy peasy. So that's a good way to transfer goods to not take up your ships, but just keep in mind that it does um, it does cost you money each trip. So if you if you are running low on income, uh, this may not be the best way. You may want to go ahead and just do a trade route with some ships that you already have. 
So now let's go ahead and discuss how to set up trade routes with other players in AI. So you're going to go again back down to the create route button and you're going to go ahead and hit trade routes. And I highly suggest for you to name your trade routes because as your game progresses, you're going to have uh, multiple trade routes and it's just good to kind of keep track. So this is going to be our, I, th I think she needed soap. So this is going to be our soap route. So underneath that, we have the option to select what ships we're going to use. In this particular example, I only have one ship available, but obviously if you have more ships with cargo space, you can add them to a route. So that's my reference to earlier in this video where it can be as complicated as you make it. But for this tutorial, we'll keep it simple. Now this icon is super important because this tells you how many cargo slots that a sh ship will have. And this basically means how many different goods can you put on a ship. This ship will hold three. So that's plenty for uh, a, a very simple trade route. So now we want to go ahead and select um, one starting station, I guess. And it's not really a starting point because it's a continuous loop. But we'll go ahead and select our island and then we're going to go ahead and trade with the AI that we have trading routes with. So as you can see, we have a, a, a loop here. Now we can move these around to kind of change the way they navigate through the ocean. So maybe there's like a, you know, it, it, if the map was randomly generated or whatever and someone was patrolling this area, maybe we want to go around so our trade ships don't get um, hit or plundered. So this is something uh, that could be useful. but. We're going to keep the most efficient path. So back over here, we're going to have a few different options that we need to go over. So this first station is going to be the one that we're starting out with, which is our currently occupied island. So on the left, you see wait for goods and it says if activated, the ship will wait until it has loaded all the goods for this station. So this basically will prevent a ship from leaving to complete its trade route without having all the goods that you set. So let's say you set uh, 10 soap to load up into the ship, it won't leave with eight. It will only leave when you have 10. Um, so when you select one of these options, a gold ring will appear around it. So we wanna do full loads only. Now on the, the next option, or the next two options, you can only choose one of them because they're mutually exclusive. One is a discard cargo option. And it says if activated goods that cannot be unloaded will be thrown overboard to make space for other goods. So let's say that you get to your destination and your, your ship is full and you really need a particular item. You have a lot of what you're trying to trade. So for in this instance, we're sending her soap, but let's say she doesn't need any more soap. So she doesn't need any more soap and we come back and we're full. Well, if we are full and we can't store it anywhere, there's nowhere for the goods to go. Or if we don't have this selected, then our ship's just gonna sit there, making the trade route pretty much useless. So if we select this option, then we're just going to throw it overboard and then fill up that empty space with what's needed to complete the route. This is a good option to prevent your trade route from getting stuck, um, especially if you're trading goods that you don't really care about or have a huge surplus of. The opposite of this option is the wait to unload. So if activated, the ship will wait until it has completely unloaded everything from this harbor. If you're trading some stuff that's pretty expensive and hard to make, you probably don't want to throw it overboard. So you probably want to check this option and just take the time and make sure it gets unloaded, not throw it overboard before continuing on your trade route. But it's good to understand all three of those options because they do make a, a big difference in how efficient uh, your trade routes are and just to make sure that you're not throw wasting any resources or wasting time. So after you select whatever preference you have, um, you then need to figure out what goods you need to unload and load at what destinations. So again, we're going to be sending this lady some soap and in return, hopefully we can get some grain. So we're going to load our ship with soap. So if you hover over this button, you can see it says click to load. We click it, we go down to soap, we click that and we want to set the amount. Now th this amount is going to be the amount it puts on the ship each trip. So you probably want to start low at first so you don't deplete your resources. So I'm just going to do five on this one. And then now we get this red error symbol and this says the re this resource never gets unloaded. And that's because we need to go down here and choose to sell our soap. So we click it 
and it automatically will now sell the soap at her destination. So we're loading soap on our island. We're taking it to point two on her island and selling it. This essentially could be the only route we do. We could hit accept and this would be done. But let's say there is a resource that we do need. So then we want to buy a resource from her. Let's say we are needing some worker clothes, but just a few. Again, this is per trip. So we hit five and accept. And then now this resource needs to be unloaded. So we go back up here, we click to unload it. So now our ship will put soap from our island, take it to her island, sell the soap, buy the worker clothes, then return back to our island to unload the worker clothes and then rebuy the soap and we'll continue to do that until something disrupts it. Now earlier I mentioned this shows how many cargo slots you have. And so we can do up to three different items here. So something like this, just picking up random goods. Uh, these resources aren't traded, but we can only do three items. So if we did any more, it wouldn't work. So as you can see, once you get to the fourth slot, it tells you some of your ships do not possess this enough slots to fully support this route. So you, you will have to uh, cancel this. So to cancel it, you'll just click it and delete it and then you're good. But I don't want to do all this. I was just using that as an example. So we delete this, delete this, and then we're back to our, our very simple route of trading soap for worker clothes. So that's it. That's a very simple route. Now, obviously, if we had trade rights with other people, we could add another station and make this even more complicated. But I like to keep it simple and we only have trade rights with one person. So we hit accept. And then now our trade route is currently on its way. The ship is over here, so it's going to take a minute. Uh, but essentially, if I let time pass, it would come here and it would pick up the worker clothes or pick up the soap and take it over here to buy the worker clothes. So that is how trading works in Anno 1800. I really do hope you found this tutorial or guide useful. That is my goal for these. And if you enjoyed this type of content and want to see more, I urge you to subscribe to the channel. It really does support me. And you can also catch my live streams where I stream games like Anno 1800 and many other different games live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash icmike. So I really do appreciate the support and I will see each and every one of you in the next video.